Okay, we're uh, we're still in Les's uh, basically coming in here to his saw bench area, um, his cylindrical grinder, and around here he's got the sag um, lathe, the Italian lathe, and this is the SIP toolbox that came with that big mill. And uh, Les will show us all about that. Uh, proving that this came from Hawker de Havilland on the front of the toolbox is a where we are Press Airport, Guildford. Guildford, yeah. Now inside is the most amazing swing door toolkit that's ever been given by machine tool people. These are large boring bars for doing internal boring and the tooling is such that you can get tenths of a thou on the ring to place down the tool into the job. These tools These tools, which you can't find, <laughs> um, these are very heavy. This uh, whole arrangement here is extremely heavy. Here we are. These tools, which fit up inside the boring head have got an attachment in the end of it to allow it that when you turn this dial this tool is accurately brought in or out. Um, that's a larger diameter so you have a larger tool of course but this is for a smaller one but you can see where they do engage and they do and slide, up, slide and up and down. And then you, you would probably do a positive lock with that with I should that. imagine yep. there's here. We'll take some photos afterwards but that's uh, um, so that's some of the tooling in here yeah. um, for these uh, for these boring heads. Now these boring heads come in many, many sizes. Large, of course. They're boring and facing, uh, or just boring? This is a boring, boring head. The facing head didn't come with it. More tooling, right from very small with the micro adjustment on them, definitely by SIP. Yep, um, it's all original. Original. This particular one is for doing offsets. So you can see so that... So you can do it like an oblong. Uh, yeah, like the tool will fit wobble. in there for doing a very small amount. No, just a very small amount in a hole. Right, yeah. So yep. it doesn't actually wobble. <laughs> it's eccentric. It's off center. Yeah, and, yeah. It, and it can just do a very fine cut. Um, right up to this one here, which is around about a two inch. About a two inch maximum. Um, okay. All in very nice condition. Probably very little use. And that's all um, uh, Morse with a uh, with a drawbar. A drawbar through Morse the four and a yeah. drawbar. Now these plates. Uh, for for the, for the dividing head to the divide fixing to the rotary table which turns it into a dividing head right yep now the dividing head itself um, has the degrees of accuracy that we spoke about but the plates give it a further degree of accuracy for if you're cutting gears or doing particular machine positions you must have the dividing head plates and that's what this is partly all about. Then with the banjo there, the banjo, they, um, yeah. it, uh, and that, that'll be all the, all the ones that, so what, what is that, uh, the standard gearing there is what the, yeah. be more than 90 to 1, um, wouldn't it? No, the standard gearing on the large rotary table is 90 to 1. 90 to 1, okay. And then everything set. else around that. Yeah. Now, the degree of tooling that this comes with is just amazing. Um, it has a whole range of um, cutters that just bolt on to other shafts. This, 
particular device bolts onto the machine and it's an optical adjusting device. It's powered by three phase from the machine and it allows you to optically adjust through this mechanism here and a very small hole there. Light is focused onto here and using this using this marking, marking or background here you can adjust to a very fine degree of accuracy for setting up another dovetailed offset device for doing very fine degree work across from the center so if you wanted to enlarge a hole this can be spread across screws into one of the bigger bars and is able to be accurately adjusted In days before uh, tooling, modern tooling came in, this is how SIP supplied their cutters. You could see what expense would be involved in buying those cutters. Amazing, it's all one piece, so all I've been still. Piece, yeah. And with the drawbar. Drawbar in the top and number three more number four three yeah, more taper three more taper here so amazing. absolutely amazing we, we, careful we, there yes, yeah. came out of there i think you wound the cable around uh, the bottom there and it's capturing it And wait there's more. Sometimes you might have the requirement of doing quite a large um, facing. facing or centering job. Uh, it has a taper section in there and this is parallel. That just fits up into the quill, the drawbar goes in and is pulled up on this taper here to give it the rigidity. Okay, on this large one, yeah. The large one, yeah, and that's and that's like the other tooling. I notice it's also the yep. the the um, it's adjustable, micro it's adjustable, adjustable, and they're not it's not straight through. They're no. all through. They not all go an through at an angle to give them their clearance. Yeah, and um, and that's that's quite good because that gives it clearance below the actual head itself when when you're machining. And this is all original. Yep. Supply. Supply multi-head probably first attempt at having um, insert cutters I think I'd say and they've, and they've also these these backs have all yep. grooved they're are, all are bloody amazing yeah. and you can adjust that yep or lock that in yep and it's got a taper I see it's got a taper yeah. there as well Liz yep holy moly yeah it's a beautiful thing and it must and they're, and they're off at an angle as well. They're not at yeah. 90 degrees, well, so that they, gives them that offset. So yeah, you can uh, part of you can grind them straight. Clearance. They grind straight, and then and the shell cutters. Shell cutters bolt onto another device, and uh, give you the cutting and facing I mean, that you require. And that that would be would would give such a polished finish, wouldn't it? Oh, God, it'd be beautiful. And a series of bars which you can increase diameter or length or of, whatever of you require. So the bits and pieces in here, I suppose you've no idea what they are, Les, huh? I have very, very, must admit I have very little idea what some of them are. <laughs> but they, they, are, they are hugely heavy. But they've got such a beautiful hinging arrangement here. Yeah. And I notice they've even gone to the trouble of making it so that each one, I suppose every machine they supplied, Can be they would adjust the, depending on how many yeah. or what size. Thing. But that, yeah. that's amazing and there's got to be so much weight in that. Yep. And it's, um, beautiful. There's the oiler. Yep. Which I must get. <laughs> <laughs> um, to assist you to do 
with dividing head divisions on your rotary tables they supply that particular plate and it tells you direction um, teeth numbers um, plate one so that goes the divisions so well, that's up to a hundred yeah and uh, the flip side's got some more on there. yep and the other side's got to yeah going up also up to 100 but in a different series yep with different uh, okay that's the different plates yep they're, they're, uh, okay so they, they mark the plates by numbers yep rather than the, uh, the and then that has the, the standard uh, okay so this is this is Roman numericals in this one um, that they've used uh, okay and then they, these are the divisions up to 100 on both of them yep and that just slips in the it door here. Slips in the door, especially its own, in position. There's own uh, little wooden uh, yeah. container there. So that is the tooling for the machine, which is, I would say, probably as costly initially as the machine. Wouldn't surprise me one bit. Yeah.